What's up, hustlers? Your boy JC Automation back with another video. Appreciate all your love and support here on this channel. Now, I am here to talk to the introverts. A lot of you all out there are introverted, but you also want to get into real estate. Now, we do have introverted options here on this channel, but a lot of you all say, hey, listen, I don't want to cold call people, JT. I, I'm just not comfortable talking to people on the phone, knocking on doors, talking to people that are going through foreclosure. I don't do well with getting cussed out or getting hung up on, but I still want to get into real estate. I still want to find off-market deals, and I still want to build wealth through real estate. Well, I am here with a very special guest. His name is Mr. Sawan Belcher. His handle is at This Is Me Taking Action. And he's going to break down in today's video how you can go out and start making money in real estate, even if you're an introverted person. So without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to him. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Sawan Belcher. Today, I want to break down something very, very near and dear to my heart because a lot of people have been uh, saying in the comments, you know, you guys don't like talking to people. You feel uncomfortable. You know, one reason why you're not marketing to motivated sellers is because you don't know how to talk to people. So today, JT gave me the idea to give to you, give you the play of how I'm marketing online, right? Um, how I'm, you know, kind of have like a process to where people don't even have to talk to me in order for me to buy their property, right? Better yet, I'm going to even show you my disposition process to where I sell my properties online without having to talk to buyers because that's personally what I don't like to do, you know? And if you want to do a creative deal, I'm going to show you another way where you can actually display your deals, you know, creatively on lease options, okay? So if you are ready to get to this, make sure that you are sitting down so that way you can implement this information right away and we're going to get to this. Okay. Now there's multiple ways to market for motivated sellers. Cause that's the first thing that we have to do. We need people to know about us that we are real estate investors. We want to buy property. Okay. We're willing to buy the property cash. We're willing to buy it as is. We want to solve your problem with a quick solution. Okay. So we can do outbound marketing. That's us reaching out to the sellers to get their attention. Okay. That's typically like cold calling, text messaging, you know, things that, you know, Things that really you need to do a lot of hustle, you know, to get people in front of you. A lot of work, you know, uh, pulling a list, you know, pulling phone numbers, scrubbing list. You know, you have to be dialing, dialing, dialing all day long, right? Takes more time. You're talking to less, you know, less people who are motivated to sell. But then there's also incoming lead traffic, right? There's marketing that could bring in inbound leads, okay? Uh, now, I will say these cost a little bit more, but it works okay because the thing about inbound leads versus outbound leads is that every single person all of them everyone you talk to are extremely motivated and that's simply because they're looking for you you're not looking for them you know when they type into google and they say home buyers in greensboro north carolina they're looking for you right they want an offer they're ready to sell they're ready right now Versus when you're calling and says, hey, I'm sorry for calling out of the blue. Would you consider selling 123 Main Street and you get an F you want to hang up? OK, two completely different things. Now, the major component to doing this consistently is to have a website. OK, is to have a website. I wanted to show you guys one of my seller websites. Now, if you're going to do this, you need to have multiple websites. I've seen people have one website and it says we buy, we sell, we rent all on one website, but really that confuses the person that you're looking for. Nobody wants to know that you're buying their property for a hundred grand and on the same exact website, you listed it for 150. Nobody wants to know that you're making 50 grand off of them. Let's be serious, right? And you definitely don't want your tenants to know that you just made 50 grand this month because they not about to pay you because they think you're rich. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I like to have three separate websites, okay? Now, more importantly than the website is how are people going to see us, okay? So before you just name your domain name, which is the first key to this puzzle, all right? Before you just go and name your domain name, your random LLC, you need to think about who is going to find you, okay? How are they looking to you? What are they putting in the search box? So you might want to know some key terms because whenever you're automating a system like this where you're not having to talk to anyone, 
the way they're going to find you is through search engines, okay, and what they type in online, okay? So they're not going to type in Sawan Belcher, can you buy my house? They're not going to type that. So I shouldn't put, my website shouldn't be SawanBelcher.com, okay? What are sellers typing in the search engine box, okay? Now, um, I like to use whatever they're searching, those keywords, and make that my domain name. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you the first one that we got. Hold on, wait. Are you on social media because you're looking for a way to make more money in a consistent way so that you can better your personal economy or create or scale your generational wealth? Well, guess what? You're on the right channel. I want to invite you out to my Foundational Wealth Conference. There, I'm going to give you the proven strategy to make money in business, to make money in stock investing, and to make money in real estate investing. I'm bringing all of my friends together that make six and seven figures a year doing this, and I want to teach you how to do the same. Link is in the description down below if you want to take advantage of that. Okay. Now, this website is strictly for sellers. As you can see, our domain name is by triad homes we're looking to buy properties from sellers we typically buy in the triad area and what we're looking to buy are homes right so just for another example you can maybe do sell my greensboro house fast.com maybe another example is fastoffer.com okay so you want to make sure that your domain name have keywords because Google recognizes your website as one of those keywords when the seller types it in on Google to be something closer to what she's looking for. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay, next is you actually need a really good website. Okay, now these websites are not meant to, you know, you don't see a bunch of pictures of me on here because this is not an about me kind of page. This is for people who are motivated to sell, who are looking to sell their house. So boom, we got a quick message to them. And then also this website is meant to capture leads. It's meant to capture the seller's name, phone number, email address, and their address. Please notice, okay? Please notice that our button right here does not say submit, okay? Websites, all of this stuff matters when it comes to these websites. Because once again, you're not talking to them. You're speaking through, through them through words, through the words that are on your website, okay? They don't want to submit their information. They want to get my fair cash offer. Does that make sense? Okay, so great. Once we have this website up, we got a great name and we got a little decent content, okay? I like to get traffic to this website. There's multiple ways that you're going to be able to get traffic to the website without having to talk to the seller. It's mainly going to be through online promotions, using websites like Facebook, using websites like YouTube, using websites like Google Ads. OK, essentially, you're going to create an ad OK on those platforms with a targeted audience. OK, the targeted audience is going to be up to you. OK, but me personally, since I already pull a list of people, I like to just upload my list into Facebook, you know, and Facebook will recognize those names and target my ad to those people on my list. OK, inside of Google, I typically like to do like geography. I like to do, you know, like a range, a radius. I want this to be within the certain range of Greensboro, North Carolina, where I buy. OK, and then, of course, with my content, I like to target i like to target people only looking for real estate in my area okay so you need to get traffic to your website by using some kind of ad or content or social media marketing to get people here and you know and before that you need to make sure that once again it's easy for them to submit their information and you're communicating the right message now, once I get somebody that comes to my website, they're interested in selling, they enter their information, they click get my fair cash offer, okay? At that point, I do most of my communication. I do most of my communication via email, okay? Once they click this, they get an email that says, hey, tell me more about your property. Give me the condition, why you want to sell it, how soon you want to sell in a price. It says that in the email. When they respond back, I give them my offer. I give them my cash offer, my seller financing or subject to offer, and my referral listing offer as well. And they get to choose, okay? And now once they choose, that's when we send them a purchase agreement via DocuSign, okay? DocuSign just allows you to load up the purchase agreement DocuSign just allows you to load up the purchase agreement, send it to them. So right there on their phone or laptop, they can sign the purchase agreement without even having to talk to you.
Okay. Now, since you got the, you know, if you'd like to get our purchase agreement, we provide it for free on our website at this is me taking action.com hold right there on the screen. There'll be an option to download the purchase agreement. Now, once you got that property locked up now, you need to be able to sell the property, you know, or if you got it on terms, if you bought it on terms, you need to be able to sell it on terms. So there's a way where we don't have to talk to anybody, you know, uh, when we sell the property so we can make some money. Okay. So let's go, let's go over this real quick. Okay. Next is our cash buyers websites. So once again, I got a website for each different one and we want to make sure that this thing is SEO correct people can easily identify if they're in the right place or not. Okay. Triad discount homes.com is the name of this website. Clearly the area is the triad, right? Cash buyers or real estate investors, right? They want discounted homes. Very simple. Triad discount homes.com. And once again, we're, you know, we're projecting a clear message for this one. We even created a small, excuse me, a short cartoon video. So just so they can explain our process. Now, when you watch this video, it tells you that our process is, Hey, Mr. Buyer, put in your name, your email address, your phone number, and where you like to buy and show me the deals. Okay. When they watch this video, it explains that our process is whenever we have a deal on the contract, we'll email them the deal and that'll bring them to the website so they can see all of the pictures. They can see the county data and they can see comps right on our website, but it also communicates that they can make an offer right on our website. We don't even want to talk to the buyers. Okay. Literally right there. They can put the address of the property that we have on the contract right there. They can put their best offer. What's the highest amount of earnest money they can put and how soon can they close with their email address and name? And this is our strategy. We don't qualify buyers. Okay. If we have a property for sale, check out my website, make an offer on my website. If they call me, make an offer on my website. Yo, so Juan, I want to take you out to dinner. Cause I seen that deal. I want to buy you a steak. You want to go to Fleming's? No, go to my website, make an offer. Okay. That allows me to pull out of my deal emotionally, but also to get more money because what these cash buyers do is they say, Hey man, you know, who has the best offer? I'll outbid them a thousand dollars. I say, Hey man, look, I don't know who has the best offer because I'm not in charge of that. What people do is they go on my website and they make the highest offer possible. If you believe that the last offer you put in is, is more than what you can pay now, submit another offer you know, because I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to be accepting the highest and best tomorrow by 12 o'clock. <laughs> okay. You, you see what I'm saying? So this right here is an amazing way to automate your disposition process. Okay. Now I, I will say this is almost just like an auction, which has turned out to be the best thing possible. You know, the buyers get the, the pictures, they get access to the property and they can make an offer right there without you having to be involved. Okay. Now the next layer of the business, okay. Is when we're, when we're trying to exit these deals is how do we find those tenant buyers? Once again, these are different websites. So let me show you this last one here is our rent to own website. Now, the reason why we have this one separate than buyers because cash buyers are completely different than rent to own tenant buyers. Okay. Our cash buyers, you know, we have a way of sifting them down and asking them if they would like to, you know, partner with us as private money lenders on deals, but we're rent to own tenants. We're not going to do any of that. We're strictly, they're strictly going to end up becoming renters or tenant buyers. Okay. So we have a separate website for them. And of course this is completely different. So our domain name over here is our house feels like home. Okay. That's more of a, you know, tenant worthiness right there. Yeah. yeah. Triad discount homes for cash buyers Buy triad homes is for the sellers and for tenant buyers who want to, you know, have the option to buy a house. They can still rent the house and have that option to buy later. Our house feels like home.com. And once again, this is a lead magnet. So the first thing before people even scroll down, they should be able to put their information in. Okay. And then opt in before they even scroll down. And I think you'll notice that consistently on our websites, it's the same thing. Okay. And that's because it, it traditionally works best for getting the most amount of leads. So that way you can have the best leads so you can make more offers and get more deals period. Okay. Now, same thing here, the people are uh, opt in there. And once again, they get instructions that will send out those deals via email and text message. 
Okay. Now, if you like this kind of marketing, you know, let us know. We can actually break this down a little bit more to how you would set up automatic funnels or automatic targeting for your marketing for these kind of websites. And then we can also talk about how we analyze some of the leads that might come through on your seller swipe. So back to my boy. All right. Hey, you guys, there you have it. If you all are out there and you're introverted, hopefully this helps. If you still have any questions as to what actionable steps you could take to get off the ground and up and running, you could tap in with Sawan on his group coaching call sessions. Come there, ask your questions, get all the support that you need. Also, his upcoming event right, will be linked down in the description below. Tap in, take advantage of that. And until next time, so I'm hustling, stay hustling. JT Automations, I'm gone.